Welcome, welcome to Hat Hair Gaming today. Rock and Call of Duty Team Deathmatch. <clears throat> now I wanted to tell everybody the way I play Call of Duty, it doesn't even make sense. Okay, I'm that's why I'm not a Call of Duty player. Cause I need I'm like crazy when I'm playing this stuff. I'm just unstable to no end, okay? What I mean is I'm extremely inconsistent. I don't find the sweet spots in the map. I don't um, use all these technical things. I just started using flashbang now. Just because it it's a good thing to do. It really is. It it, it helps. But anyway, um, I'm not very good at Call of Duty. I'm gonna say that that's why I don't play it. Because I suck. Um, I barely average a one flat KD. Because I don't usually make it to kill streaks. I just don't. I can't handle it, man. I can't. I don't know why. I just. I don't play that way. I can. I mean, I can get, you know, that kind of stuff. But normally I don't play that way. So that's why I don't really play Call of Duty. Because I'm not so good. But uh, on Nuketown. It is impossible to earn any high kill streaks because it's just boom, 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 boom. You're just attacking each other. So basically, you shoot one and that's it. And what I do is I don't ever run away. If I see a guy in my sights, I'm going to shoot him till he's dead. And if somebody's shooting at me, I'm just not going to pull the sights off the other guy. I'm just going to shoot him and die because at least I got the one kill. And I know it's not smart playing and I don't care. I understand this. Okay, if I want to play a certain way, I can. But. This is the way I felt like playing today, and I can play other ways, and maybe I'll show you, but on next, you know, Modern Warfare 3 comes out, yeah, sure, maybe I'll play like a real person, but on Black Ops, not today. Now, I did just change my sensitivity level, so if I'm bouncing around a little bit, that's because I'm, I don't know what the fuck's going on, but that, because usually on Call of Duty, I play on a very low sensitivity, and all other first-person shooters, I almost pull up, uh, play at the highest setting, for some reason, of which, I don't know why at all but it's just the way it works for call of duty so anyway i want to bring a team deathmatch on nuketown because nuketown's kind of fun and kind of crazy and rock of the famas like if you guys don't already know that you apparently don't watch my videos and stuff um i've been having some headache problems again uh that's why i haven't posted videos i know i'm an asshole i haven't posted videos in two days and i'll be posting this one hopefully a couple more today but i've been having headache problems again and then i just can't get on the computer and play because it it hurts <laughs> it hurts to you know sit up and concentrate so that's my excuse so please be patient um i will be putting up some good videos hopefully pretty soon that actual people will watch besides just my subscribers because i haven't been performing up to optimum level and uh well just kind of stay patient and i'm sure i'll find something that fits my boat as good as possible but so far, I haven't found anything. Fuck Crisis 2. Fuck Crisis 2. Fuck Crisis 2. Now that I got that out of my system. Fuck Crisis 2. I really don't ever feel like playing it again. I couldn't even make an actual video complaining about Crisis 2 because I couldn't play it. It just wasn't my game style, I guess. It was. It had the idea, but I really hate that you can't tell when somebody's shooting you. You don't know if you're getting shot at. And that alone makes you die fast because... You don't know anyone shooting at you. You don't know whether to run away. All of a sudden, you just die. And that's what, especially Call of Duty players, I think, really hated Crisis right away. Because they would be running around, getting shot at, all of a sudden they die. And they're like, what the fuck? How did I just die? By one bullet? No, it was because you didn't know you were being shot. And that's uh, the flaw that I think is with Crisis 2. So very unhappy with that. Playing a little bit of SOCOM beta today. Um, seems to be going really well. I think I'm going to be really enjoying that. But again, I have headaches, so I might play for an hour, and all of a sudden I just can't play for, you know, six, seven hours, and that doesn't work when you're uh, trying to, you know, develop good gameplays, because for me, I usually play for, you know, four or five hours, and then I'll get maybe ten good gameplays out of there, but if I play for an hour, I'll get none. It's just, you know, once you start playing, it seems to work out quite well, so during this time, please be patient, and if you're just viewing this uh, for the first time, uh, this is Hat Hair Gaming's channel. Now, it's, you're going to be confused as shit because you're like, dude, you suck at Call of Duty. That's because I don't play it. I'm just posting that because I hate all the other games that are out right now. So it's really, really an awkward time. But hopefully I figure out shit and get situated. So again, apologies and whatever. And if you don't like it, you know, 
you'll deal with it because there's bigger shit to deal with. So, um, anyway, um, I think the only kill streak I got was a spy plane, and oh my god, I'm at 15 kills, 16 kills now. It's, uh, so I, I was the top guy on my team. My team was failing miserably, so it could have been a good match if we had a good team together. Um, because getting a high KD ratio on a losing team is impossible. You just have to be lucky. Like if you ever watch, you know, some other people that play Call of Duty and get, you know, uh, say 80 kills and 5 deaths or something crazy like that, the other team got annihilated. Not just because of the, you know, the one player, they just kept getting mowed and then once you get on that kill streak you keep feeding up and feeding up and feeding up and it gets better and better and better and better so that's uh the way that works so i'm just going to post some regular game plays and talk a little bit because i wanted to explain to everybody what was going on and that's about all that i have today but uh i just wanted to thank everybody for checking out um my call of duty videos for now and just kind of hang tight until socom gets actually released i should be tossing some things up pretty soon and if you haven't checked out my channel, might as well do it. There's uh, random videos right now. I don't got shit to post right now. But it's a dry spell, you know. And just when you can't hook up with chicks and you can't have sex for like two months, three months, same thing has happened with me with games. I can't find the one I like enough to put my dick in, you know. And that's just the truth. But getting off topic, thank everyone for viewing today and check out my channel for more Call of Duty, Killzone, and SOCOM. Thank you guys for viewing today.